So the Los Angeles Rams have a home game against the New Orleans Saints this week, and I think we are going to win and push us further into that playoff picture. Right now we are sitting at number seven, but I think we can even possibly get the sixth seed if we try hard enough. Let's get into why. So here we are on ESPN.com, and you guys can see uh, that normally I do only go off of uh, PFF, uh, and that's because normally they have all of the green line stuff and all the bets um, and such. However, it is, uh, you know, a little bit early in the week, so some of the data isn't there. So I'm just gonna start off on ESPN to give us a different look. But either way, the game odds. Currently, the Rams are sitting at minus four and a half. I believe we opened at about minus four. I think that's where the consensus is at this point. Um, you know, a little bit of a reminder, uh, the Rams are at home. So usually the home team does get about a three point bump. Uh, so, you know, that plays in a bit, but the consensus is, is that the Rams are supposed to win this game, especially because they're at home. Now the over under is going to be sitting at 44. Uh, so that thing that uh, basically means that Vegas thinks this is either going to be a 24 to 17 game where the under would hit, or they think it'll be a, about a 24 to 21 game where the over would hit. Um, so just expect, uh, you know, t one team to probably be in the teens um, or them both be in probably the low 20s so this is going to be a tight affair it's not going to be um, a simple game where you know one team just blows out the other like kind of the Rams just did to the commanders um, and lots of stakes uh, you know here but basically whoever loses this game only has about a 20 to 25 percent chance of making the playoffs after this they'll need a lot of help from other teams um, the Rams have been as low as uh, I believe 17 percent at one point uh, this season uh, with their chances uh, and they have stormed back we are now sitting at above 50 percent um, however, if the Rams don't win this, then, you know, tragedy can strike and we can possibly not make the playoffs. And now we could win out the next two games um, and then have a little bit of help from outside sources. It just gets a lot harder. Um, so that's basically what we are looking at. If we win this game, we are firmly uh, kind of taking a grasp of that, even, especially if we get some help. And then we can possibly even clinch still in week 17. It'll just take a, a lot of help from other, uh, you know, teams here. So that's basically where we're sitting at. Uh, but in terms of the matchup predictor, ESPN has this as a 60% chance for the Rams to win. Um, now, if we compare just top people, Derek Carr versus Matthew Stafford, Matthew Stafford having a bit of a better year, Kamara versus Kyron Williams. Kyron Williams is obviously a top running back in the league. And then receiving yards, Olave playing a good season, but not as good as Puka Nakua, 87 receptions, 1,100 receiving yards and four touchdowns. Uh, some injuries we have here. Chris Olave, Ryan Rams checks. Uh, sorry, I, sometimes I forget how to say his name. Uh, but those are the two big ones, questionable. And then Rob Havenstein, he's supposed to play. Joseph Noteboom, our two tackles. Uh, you know, Alaric Jackson does start, but uh, backup tackle there, not exactly great to see um, on the injury report. And then also our other starting off offensive tackle on the injury report, he's supposed to play though. Akel Witherspoon and Trey Tomlinson, so our secondary taking a bit of a hit too. In our last uh, five, the Rams are four and one and uh, lost in overtime, a game where they could have won and could have been steaming into this game five and zero oh at eight and six. Uh, however, we did lose to the Ravens, but beat some great teams here: the Seahawks, who just had a great win over the Eagles, um, the Browns, who are I believe eight and six, and then the Commanders. Um, you know, not as good of a team. Cardinals, not as good of a team. However, two solid wins there and two wins over teams we should have in kind of dominant fashion and almost beat one of the best teams in the NFL and the Ravens. Uh, now the Saints losing to the Lions. They also lost to the Falcons. Not a very, um, you know, good loss for them. And then the Vikings, another team in that playoff race. And then, um, you know, picking up two wins here over some subpar teams that they should have beat. Um, so it's definitely going to be interesting. Uh, game time weather 65, but uh, the SoFi is a dome. Uh, so that won't really be affecting anything. Uh, now let's go to over here to PFF to look at the rest. So in terms of team metrics the Rams are overall 17th and that is dragged down by our defense we don't exactly look favorable in terms of defense to PFF uh, but in terms of offense we do rank number seventh um, and then strength of schedule played we are 12th in terms of strength of schedule uh, compared to the Saints so the fact that they have the seventh defense might be because they have played such bad teams and they just play well against bad teams their offense still ranks 17th even with the 31st strength of schedule uh, and overall they're ranked 14th but 
obviously playing worse teams. Now, uh, about the same run percentage to pass percentage, 40 to 60% for each. Uh, not too much to go over there. Um, and yeah, the spread has opened, I believe, if we go to green line here. PFF has the spread at a minus three and a half, so they actually have it as a closer game. Um, they think that the Saints will probably cover here, maybe losing by three, 24 to 21. Seems like a consensus for a lot of people. Um, so PFF is favoring the Saints a bit more in terms of that. Uh, but in terms of the cover probability, uh, Rams 43%, Saints 53%, um, and yeah, the market uh, has the Rams at minus 205, PFF has them at minus 150, uh, but the win probability, same as ESPN, 60% here. Um, so yeah, that's about what we're looking at. We have already gone over the injuries, so let's go over the lineups now. Uh, so obviously, Saints have a very solid defense from what we've seen. They've played a lot of close games. Um, they have one of the best cornerbacks in the league this year, although he has, doesn't have a whole career of playing this well um, in Isaac uh, Yidom. Um, he was drafted in 2018. Um, two, their two corners just playing absolutely great. Uh, could could be that they're playing a lot better because of the uh, kind of worse schedule that they have. But still, to play this good all season, to be the third and fourth best cornerbacks, uh, definitely something to be worried about for the Rams. Tyron Matthew has been a very good safety uh, for his whole career, at one point being the best safety in the league to PFF. Um, then Jordan Howden, obviously a rookie, but playing well for a rookie, I will say. Um, Demario Davis, one of the best linebackers over the past six to seven years. Um, and, you know, they do have some uh, Cameron Jordan. He, he is at the tail end of his career, but still playing very well. Um, so just a lot of, you know, a lot of good players on the secondary, a lot of a great player at the uh, mic position. Um, and then, you know, their, their edges and their linebackers aren't too scary. Um, and I think that uh, our running back, Kyron Williams, is going to be running all over them. I, I assume he's going to get over 20 carries. And whenever he does that, I believe we win. Maybe, I don't know if he got that against the Ravens. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, let's go over the Rams offense. Um, our offense have picked up a lot. Uh, DeMar uh, Kevin, sorry, Kevin Dotson uh, is the fourth rated guard in the league. Rob Havenstein um, should be playing. He's the ranked 13th tackle. Alaric Jackson picking it up recently. Um, now about a middle of the pack tackle. Uh, Steve Avila, he hasn't you know, been playing absolutely amazing. Uh, however, he is a rookie and he's getting better every week. And Coleman Shelton, uh, definitely playing better than years past. Uh, so our line, very serviceable. I don't really uh, think it's too scary uh, playing against their defensive line. I think they should hold up and do well. Um, now in terms of our receivers, Puka Nakua, obviously one of the best receivers in the league in terms of statistically and just, you know, passing the eye test. Um, Demarcus Robinson has been killing it the past couple of weeks. He has a couple of touch touchdowns against the Ravens and then now um, against the Commanders last week. Uh, so he's picking it up. We get 2-2 Atwell back and obviously Cooper Cup, one of the best receivers in the league. Um, and then obviously Matthew Stafford. I think that Matthew Stafford will be able to carve up, but I think the Rams are going to take a more run-focused approach this week. It's just probably going to be what's best for us, but that could open up the passing attack and get Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua um, open as well. Uh, now defensively for the Rams, uh, our cornerbacks are much underrated. Akella Witherspoon um, makes plays when he needs to. Darion Kendrick is a flag machine, and I'm assuming that's what he gets a lot of his bad grade from. Um, however, uh, and he has some blown coverages sometimes, but for the majority of the game, he does lock up and he makes big plays. Uh, Michael Hoyt, one of the worst players on our defense, um, he does shine here and there. Byron Young has played well all year. I don't know why PFF ranks him so low. Um, Jonah Williams, subpar player, but uh, Bobby Brown um, and then also Kobe Turner been killing it recently uh, on the defensive line and obviously Aaron Donald, number three uh, defensive uh, lineman in the league, defensive tackle. Um, and then Ernest Jones. Uh, he's sitting at uh, a very, very comfortable spot. He's one of the better linebackers in the league. Uh, Christian Roseboom, uh, not playing as good as last year, but uh, Ernest Jones definitely picks up where he slacks. And then our safeties are playing very well with Jordan Fuller and John Johnson. Now, in terms of the Saints, um, they do not have a very scary passing attack. Now, they do have Olave, or oh, I'm sorry, Olave, um, and Rashid Shahid has had his moments, and he does play well at times, but he, he's not scary on a down by down basis to me um at perry rookie here he is um you know very fast very tall large target um 
not exactly uh, you know, producing all that much yet. Uh, Alvin Kamara, though, always going to be a scary running back, been one of the best since he entered the league. Uh, Derek Carr, very serviceable quarterback, but not one of the ones that you have to be scared of, especially with the weapons that he has. Um, you know, Jawan Johnson has played good in the years past, not too good uh, as of late. And then their line is just abysmal. Uh, I mean, their center, obviously, Eric McCoy, uh, been one of the better centers since entering the league. But outside of that, no one else is really scaring me here. I mean, I, I have liked Andrus Pete in the past, uh, but he hasn't been good in a while. Um, and I think our defensive line is just going to get after him. I don't think there's going to be enough time to throw the ball. I think uh, Kamara will be able to run, but it's not going to be enough. I, I think the Rams are going to win here. I'm going to say 27 to 21, um, possibly 27 to 17. I, I see the Rams covering. Um, you know, I'm going to be putting my money on Rams plus two or sorry, minus two and a half. Uh, just because I think that's the safest bet. Uh, I don't see the Rams losing here. Uh, they have too much on the line, and they just have a better squad. Uh, so we'll see what happens, but that's what I think is going to happen. Let me know what you think is going to happen in the comment section below. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.